All right, one of our most active weeks in the past few months will continue to linger into our weekend. It has been a messy morning and is likely when it's coming uh, to traffic as well, especially getting the kids off to school or going into work. It is raining and it is going to be heavy at times. There will be, that will be the big story uh, of the day. Now, the afternoon trend tends to be a little more drier but a few showers can't be ruled out. Now, we will have another wave of rain that will come in Thursday night and for Friday that will bring more scattered showers and a possible weak storm or two, but no severe weather is expected. Let me update you uh, really quickly here. We've got a flood advisory now that has been issued uh, for parts of Allen, Cumberland, and Monroe counties. That is until 10 a.m. And then we've got another one for Clay, Macon, Pickett, and Sumner counties in Tennessee until 8.45 this morning. So those are the latest. Most of the severe threat is done. Now we're just focusing on the possible flooding threat now. And it's not a widespread threat. It's just some localized flooding in some spots where it's been raining uh, nonstop in, these, in some of these areas. That's why they're issuing these flood advisories here. So please take mine. Don't try to drive uh, in the flooded roadways. Try to bypass it. Turn around. Don't drown. Uh, and if you see somebody that's trying to do that, tell them, hey, don't do that. T take a different route uh, if they've got to. So again, flood advisory for Clay, Macon, Pickett, and Sumner counties. And then in the uh, Kentucky area, Allen, Cumberland, and Monroe counties, you're under a flood advisory until 10 a.m. this morning.